Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. Definitely give it a subscribe if you're looking for any DIYs, how-tos for your trailer, pop-up camper, RV, whatever you're into. All of my videos are geared towards that. And also I have some camping vlogs, so just general travel in Washington state. If you have any questions about DIYs or this video today, definitely give me a comment down below. Give this video a like. If you find any value in this video, definitely give it a thumbs up for me because all the support helps. <laughs> today we're gonna be popping up the pop-up camper. I just wanted to show you guys a quick general how to pop up the camper. I'm gonna be doing it by myself. I've had a lot of questions about like, can you have a pop-up camper and pop it up on your own? I mean, obviously, <laughs> yes you can, but also like I've done a lot of uh, camping and stuff with family and friends and stuff, but I can pop this camper up by myself. It's really easy. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, another question that I get is like, how long does it take you guys to set up? About 15 minutes. If we're actually like camping and setting up the whole campsite together, we can set everything up within like 45 minutes to an hour. If you guys find this video helpful, and if, again, if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment below. You can follow me on Instagram at Lorene June Projects, and I can DM me. I can always answer questions that you guys have. So the only tools that you need to pop up your camper, I mean really the only tool that you need to pop up your camper is this one and it's just a crank and it's gonna go into the hitch and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. The other tool you need for setup is this guy. It is another, this is the other crank that you're gonna need. This one helps with the stabilizers and we'll go over that in a second. That's it, those are the only tools that you need to set up your camper, it's pretty easy. All right guys, so before we actually pop up the camper, the f so the first thing I do always is I make sure that there's enough space above yeah, we're good. In front and behind the pop-up camper. And the reason why is because obviously this trailer is not this small when you pop it all the way up. You need a lot of space. If you're doing it alone, especially you wanna make sure beforehand that you have don't have to watch for anything that's gonna be in your way. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that these latches are unlatched all the way around. Once you have all of your latches unlatched, you can come on over here. Before you start popping up your camper, disclaimer really quick, you wanna make sure that your camper is level, even if you're not gonna be like in it, sleeping or anything like that, and you're just storing it. You level it front and back by using this bad boy here. This has its own crank, so this right here, you crank this up and down and make sure that it's level front and back. And then for sideways leveling, we have these little Lego guys. And then you also wanna make sure that you have your chocks in so your trailer stays still. This crank here goes in for our stabilizers. So you can see right here, fits perfectly on the stabilizer right here. And then you just crank it up and down using this by turning it left and right. I'm not gonna do that because these can't handle, you're not supposed to put really any weight on these. They're specifically just for stabilizing. So make sure not to crank them enough to like move the trailer at all. They should not be able to move the trailer. It's just there to stabilize and that's it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up. I'm going to follow the directions, which is to turn the crank to the right or clockwise. And then the trailer will pop up. So keep in mind when you're popping up the trailer, that part, that step that I just did right now, and that you want slow and controlled movements. You don't want to break your crank. You don't want to break things that you don't mean to. So while I was cranking that up, I'm watching this red wire here. Once it is taut, that means that it is all the way, it's, it's lifted as far as it should go. Do not keep cranking because that's as high as it should go. So your next step is going to be to pull the beds out. But before you pull the beds out, what I like to do is I like to put the base bars out. So that way when you're pulling the bed out, it's not like, dangling there or there's no weight pushing down on just like with with no support Where's the first support that we put at the front is this one the next bars look like this one side is a circle one side has this type of thing going on and I'm gonna show you guys how to get those in right now so as you can see down here the circle side of these bars they go into the actual hitch itself which is right here so in ours the first bars go into the the back section here the second bars go into the front section here this doesn't have to be hooked into anything except for the actual trailer itself there's like a little spot right in the beginning up here where they hook in so the back hooks into this right here so you can see that this 
is like the small side here, it's thin. It just latches right in there. It doesn't like make a noise or click or anything, it just goes right in. And if I push up on this, you can see it just comes right out. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the back. Really simple, just pull it out. One like little tip that I'm gonna say is that if you're pulling and it's not coming out, there's a reason for it. Don't yank on your camper. That means that like maybe your canvas is hooked onto something, maybe something on the inside during your drive got snagged or whatever, but you don't wanna accidentally rip your canvas doing something like this when you can just take your time, go in, check what's going on, come back out, fix it, pull it out. Back tent it has a little bit different, slightly different bars. The bed itself is a little bit of a different size. Um, I'm guessing that's why they did it like that. I'm not Okay, these are your support beams. They go into the sides of the trailer. This part goes into the top, the part that's kind of at an angle there. And this is at the bottom. They just kind of snap in. We put one in the front right, one in the back left. Just show up close like how easy it is to take these out and put these in. You literally just kind of angle it to the right a little bit pops right out of its spot. I'm gonna put it back in. I just push it into the top there, give it a little pressure, boom, in. And that's just a safety precaution if something happens and this starts to lower, these are gonna be your support. The next step is we're gonna lift up our canvas and then once our canvas is lift, lifted, we can loop all of our loops around. To lift up the canvas, you actually have to go into your trailer. This is your bar for lifting up the canvas. This side, is gonna hook into the back side here hooks into this spot right on the roof right here so I like to grab my bar here and there's gonna be two little notches inside of the metal I don't know if you can see those right there those two little notches right there that's where you're aiming for so once you're in those notches all you have to do is push up and then you're just gonna push until you're in the correct part of the crease and then your tent is all lifted up right here and then you're gonna take this side and put it in right there. So once it's in place, you can see it's up there and hooked into those two notches back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing in the back. Once you have your sides all popped up, the next step is gonna be to latch all of your hooks around. So basically along the underside of your beds, you have these, I would call them buttons but you're gonna latch all of your hooks. Make sure that you don't miss any because these is, this is what's gonna keep your tent air like watertight, basically. A little hard to do with my left hand, but there you go. So I'm gonna go around and do all of these. Awesome, so we're almost done with the outside setup. The last step is gonna be to, you're gonna want to make sure that this Velcro is covering all of your corners. Make sure that at the top, you actually tuck it in so that no water can like pool inside of these because if water gets inside of this, then it's gonna get inside of the trailer. So line it up, Velcro it, and do this on all four sides. So once you have all of your Velcro all on all of your corners, we're gonna go inside of the trailer and we're gonna start set up in there. And the first step that I do is I make sure to put the kitchen together and then the door. So to lift up the kitchen is very easy. I'm gonna do it with one hand. So all you're gonna do is, if there's no latches or anything, I'm just going to grip apart and bring it all the way around. Try not to let it slam. And kitchen is in. Voila. Beautiful. Once your kitchen is out of the way, time to release your door. So this is actually part of your door here. Um, it's in with these little latches, so I'm just gonna unlatch it. So once you're unlatched, you can let it down. Make sure that your bottom half of your door is actually shut. Once you're down, you're gonna wanna line it up, push it in. So next I wanna make sure that this is latched down here. You can see just like the outside latches, this has this little latch right here. So you wanna make sure that this latch here Hooks into here and then latch it in. Once your door is straight enough that you can turn this, you're gonna to wanna to turn this. You just want to make sure that these plastic little nodules are through. Once they're through, these turn and your door's in place. <laughs> Once you have all of your latches in place, there's three. 
then you're gonna wanna unlatch this. And this is like really handy. Number one, you have to use this to close it up so that this isn't open on you. But number two, it's handy for when you're sleeping at night. You can actually lock it. And we're opening the door. That's in place now. Go ahead and shut your door. And then now you're gonna need to Velcro around your door. See these little Velcro pieces? Make sure that they're all in place, nice and tight. The pop-up is popped. We're up, we're good. It didn't take me that long, even while filming and using one hand for a lot of that. I highly recommend, we love our pop-up. We actually just went in the fall. You can check out that vlog. I'll link it up above. I can't point because I have my mic in my hand. Thanks again for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Popping up the pop-up is pretty, I mean, it's pretty relatively easy. Just like any trailer RV, it takes time to set up your camp. Just like if you're tent camping, I mean, it takes time. So if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Don't forget to follow me at LorraineJune underscore camping on Instagram. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Bye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Ooh. You see my mic. So I'm gonna, dang it, super easy. On a scale of one to five, um, five being the easiest, I would, this is ridiculous. If you have any questions, I, I, blah, 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 blah. thanks again. Enjoy, no, that's stupid.